Hey guys, this is Josh with Update Channel, and we have an exciting announcement today. Caterpillar is making new engines. And you can even replace your Detroit or your Cummins for a new cat engine. Now, before you grab your keys and drive down to the local Peterbilt dealer and say, I want a 2024 Peterbilt with one of those new cat engines, that's not what I'm talking about. Cat is not making new truck engines to go in new trucks. So what I'm talking about here is Caterpillar has for the longest time not really made new castings for their engines. What they've done is if you have, let's say a 2000 Peterbilt and it has a cat engine in it and you wanted to replace it, generally you're gonna do an in-frame, a rebuild. But let's say something's wrong with the block. It's extremely rusted out, something like that. You would have to get a reman long block or complete engine. Well, a reman engine, the block, the crankshaft, the head, they're reused. That's what reman means, remanufactured. So that block may already have a million miles on it, two million miles. Now it has gone through the reman process of inspection and fixing problems with it. Maybe it's got oversized, undersized bearings if something had to be cut to fix for a spun bearing. So you're not getting new parts. Well now, CAT is actually making new engine. And by new, co they call it new content. And by new content, I mean New cylinder block, new crankshaft, new cylinder head. The other exciting thing with that is you can get, if let's say that 2000 Peterbilt has a Detroit or a Cummins in it, you don't want that anymore. You want a cat. You can actually get a cat to replace your Cummins or Detroit and cat will give you core credit for it. Now there is an upcharge if you're going from a competitor engine to the cat and you would have to turn in that engine to CAT because the EPA is tracking this. But as long as the emissions and the displacement are roughly the same, and by emissions, I mean the year standard and displacement, they don't want you swapping in a seven liter Cummins for a C15, you would have no problems there. There's a lot of stipulations with this program and the program, at least me looking through it, there's some questions with specifics, but you can also swap CAT for CAT. So let's say you had a 3406E, but you wanted a 6NZ with a new block, where you're going from an E model to a C15, you can do that too. There is a fee with that, but CAT would allow you to do that. Also, their core criteria is much more lenient on the new content block. So if you had a rusted block that still rotates though, you might not get any core credit for the original reman on the old reman program, but the new blocks, you can get core credit. So that might actually save you money by going with new content. So what engines does this apply to? Well, although I've heard they're gonna be coming out with a C12 and C13 variant for this, currently, from what I could find, it is the 14.6 and 15.2. So the 3406E, C-15 and C15s are the ones that this works with. Now you cannot go backwards, at least through CAT. So if you had, let's say, a C15, an MXS with the compound turbos and IVAs, you cannot order a 3406E from CAT and put it in there because you're then going backwards in emissions. So CAT will not allow you to do that. Also, you're required to turn in an engine when doing this. Unlike the older remands where you could actually order an engine and if you wanted to eat the core charge, not turn in a core, now you are required to. That is a big difference there. Now, like I said, there are fees, and I'm not talking about prices in here because prices are always changing, and I want to say, oh, it's $2,000, or it's $4,000, or whatever. There is an uprate fee if you are going from one series of engines, so an E model to a C15, there's a fee for that, and like I said, there's a fee if there's a competitor, so if you're swapping a Detroit to a Cat. Now, obviously, this is not meant for millions of trucks out there. This is a very specific thing, but there are customers who really like their trucks and maybe that engine's been in frame several times already. And instead of getting a reman, you wanna pay a little more or your core would not be good for a reman. So, but it would be good in this program. You might wanna look into it. If you want more information, I highly recommend you contact your local cat dealer. They should be able to get more information for you. I just didn't know really about this program at all. I just learned about it a couple weeks ago, thought I would make a video about it. Now, if it is something you wanna do, and let's say you wanna swap a Cummins to a Cat, or a Detroit to a Cat, or even an older Cat to a newer Cat, or vice versa, you can also reach out to me at adeptapeyahoo.com if you're looking for someone to do it, and I would love to make a video about it if that's something you're considering. So, 
updateforyahoo.com if you're considering that. This is where this video is gonna end, but I'm sure you guys wanted a shop video and the red truck I was working on still hasn't been approved, so I make this video. How about a lot of destruction of the week? So we've got our first one here from Jeff, and this is obviously a piston that's seen some uh, bad things. And this is actually out of a C-175, which if you know what those are, they're huge. We're talking three, 4,000 horsepower here. This was in a ship with zero hours. Here's the rod cap. Look how big the rod caps are. But I've got a real treat for you on this one. He actually sent a video of the piston right after it came out of this engine. So this was under a new test, like a seaworthy test, I guess. And it threw it out the side. They got video of it still steaming. That is pretty interesting. Thanks, Jeff. Next one's from Casey. And Casey has pictures, not from something he's working on, but look at the piston ring here. It's just disintegrating. And he said there was multiple cylinders like this. You can see they're broken in multiple places. And I, I'm not sure what's doing this. He wasn't either. That's why he reached out to me. But I found the pictures very interesting. And we have Jerry. Who doesn't like a Jerry Destruction of the Week picture? Planetary, you can see the gears are all messed up on both the main gear, and I don't know all the planetary terms, folks. I'm a truck mechanic, but I can tell that those are messed up. This one's from Shea. Uh, yeah, don't drain your oil. Well, if you are draining your oil, hopefully it uh, doesn't look like that, folks. That's not good. Now, the next one, there's a story. This was on a trailer, and it hit a drawbridge. Look at the boom here. Yeah, don't see those bent very often. You can also see the uh, the hydraulic cylinder on top's bent. Pushed it back in, broke the glass in the cab. Looks like broke the windshield washer, probably the def all over the place. And look at the look at the cylinder. It's bent. This probably a total loss in there. Thanks for watching.